So the project is for people in recovery who have been in the military and family members. And this project was all men and they've each made a sculpture uh, about themselves. And the idea is to get them to think about the the process of their illness and their, and some of them are physical illnesses, some, some um, mental health issues, uh, many of them have PTSD and so it's to get them to think about their, the issues and to see how they can explore those in sculpture. The idea was to work with the head, the site, the site of the trauma really, and to think about the position of the head, they made a life cast of their faces, um, which in itself can be traumatic and that was, you know, really Really extraordinary than doing that. They make they use alginate, which is a fast setting moulding material, and then that's filled with plaster. And then the back of the head is a sort of exploration of what's in their minds. So it's it, they could put objects and references to their thought processes and their reaction to uh, illness and trauma. And then the the other part was the, the figure itself, which is the body language is, is to demonstrate more about their ideas. So it kind of makes the shift away from the mental health issues. Um, but it's also uh, about confidence. These men, are, the, well, the men in this group and the, the people we have are not confident. They, they've lost confidence because they've, been, they've had to leave the military, they've had to leave their former lives. So they're having to um, try and build up confidence again in a new way. Many of them will never have made anything. So to, to make, to go from nothing to have something like this in an exhibition like this, fantastic, because it's a real confidence boost, you know. So it's very exciting for them. That, you know, everyone that's come in has gone, you know, because <laughs> it's so thrilling to see it in this space.